Hello everyone, I am Paul McGuire Grimes from Paul's Trip to the Movies. I'm here at Video Universe in Robbinsdale, Minnesota. Yes, video stores still exist. And I wanna give you my top five new releases. You may have missed them in theaters, but now they're available on Blu-ray and DVD and I want you to check them out. So let's head inside for my five picks. All right, we're here in the new release section. So I've got my five picks. My first one would be Creed 2. Michael B. Jordan is back as Adonis Creed. And in this one, we see him going up in the ring against Victor Drago, the son of Ivan Drago. And if you may remember, he was the one that killed his father back in Rocky IV. And what I've grown to really love about the Creed movie is that it's so much more than a boxing movie. It really is about fathers and sons. As we see Adonis struggling with his career as a boxer while trying to raise a family. It also stars Tessa Thompson as his wife, Felicia Rashad as his mother. And then Sylvester Stallone is back as Rocky Balboa, which, and he brings such a weight and a history to this character. Dolph Lundgren is also back as Ivan Drago. So check out Creed 2. It really was an emotional journey for me that I that I found very surprising for me. So I really love it if you see Creed 2. My next pick is the favorite. Now you may remember during Oscars, the Oscar night, the biggest shock of the night was when Olivia Coleman won Best Actress over Glenn Close. In The Favorite, she plays Queen Anne, who is in frail health. The movie is about the rivalry that stems between her lady-in-waiting, Rachel Weisz, and her new attendant, played by Emma Stone. It is directed by Yorgos Lanthimos, and you've never seen a period movie quite like this one. This is not the prim and proper uh, period piece like Down Abbey or The Crown. All three women in this are brilliant together. They really enhance each other's performance and you understand after seeing why Olivia Colman went and won the Oscar. The production design, the costumes, the whole look of the film is fantastic. I really felt within the walls of this castle. It's funny, it's dark, it's gritty. It takes some really interesting twists and turns. I, it was one of my favorite movies of 2018. It's the favorite. My next pick today is Instant Family. Uh, it stars Mark Wahlberg and Rose Byrne as a couple who decide to grow their family through adoption when they adopt a teenage girl and her two siblings. Now this movie actually means a lot to me uh, because we are going through the adoption process right now too. And it's written and directed by Sean Anders who based the story on his own experiences with adoption. So I really appreciated that it has that personal touch and it's heartwarming like any good family movie is while garnering a lot of big laughs. It also stars Tig Notaro and Octavia Spencer and I actually got to interview the cast so check back on my YouTube channel you can see my interviews with the entire cast I think you're really gonna love this one all right my fourth pick is another family movie it is Mary Poppins Returns. Now, the original Mary Poppins means a lot to me. So when I saw this one, expectations were high. And this met all of my expectations. Emily Blunt is practically perfect as Mary Poppins taking over for Julie Andrews. It's a brand new Mary Poppins story, but it takes over with Jane and Michael Banks, who are now adults. Ben Wishaw is fantastic as Michael. It also stars Lin-Manuel Miranda. And I think the whole, the look and the feel is so nostalgic for the original Mary Poppins that we grew up with. And the music that Mark Shaman wrote just sounds exactly like the Richard Sherman's Richard Sherman score from before. So I think if you see Mary Poppins Returns, you'll fall in love with it just the same way I did. I loved everything about this movie, and I hope it brings back those memories for you like it did for me. My final pick for you today is another Oscar winner. It is... Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This won the Oscar for Best Animated Feature. And if you thought, I've seen so many Spider-Man movies, how can this be different? I'm telling you, you'll want to check this out. The animation, for one, is stunning. So many different styles and textures. And it really looks like a comic book at times with its panels. Miles Morales' inner thoughts are in a bubble. And it has really great lessons for kids about how we are we can be the superhero of our own story and that we don't need to look like Peter Parker or Miles Morales. No matter what we look like, no matter what we bring to the table, we can be our own superhero in our own story. So I highly recommend Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It's good for the whole family at any age. I think we'll really get a kick out of this one. Stop into Video Universe today for all of your new release needs. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram and then follow me at Paul's Movie Trip. Thank you so much for watching today.